Hey guys, I'm here with Jeff Lewis from uh, Comcast. Um, he's the VP of data products over there, and we're here to talk about SD-WAN. You know what, Jeff, SD-WAN, if, if there's one thing that our partners ask us the most about, sure. it's probably SD-WAN, yeah. right? Um, and you guys are doing some pretty unique stuff about it. Can mm -hmm. you show me a little bit on this whiteboard about what you guys are doing, how you're doing it, and how you're approaching it? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, it's a pleasure to be here, and I really appreciate the opportunity. Um, just so that you guys are aware, Comcast recognized the need to enter this space, essentially a layer three VPN space for what we characterize as mid-market and enterprise customers, the middle and the larger of the large customers. Uh, we didn't have that in our portfolio. Um, and so we looked really, really hard roughly about two years ago at what our network could deliver, and we had two choices, or at least we thought there were two choices. The first was, go extend our MPLS core, which every major network in the world has an MPLS core, and extend that to the edge. We would have been the last provider in the market. It would have been an interesting play, but it really wasn't exactly the smartest move to make. Okay. Then we looked at SD-WAN, right? Software-defined, wide area networking. You seem to make a lot of sense. However, what I'm gonna show you here today is our approach. Okay. What we did was we looked really, really hard at, do we wanna be a one-trick pony? That's sort of an internal nickname joke for us, okay. or do we want to build an extensible platform such that virtually every product and service Comcast delivers over time can be delivered through this same platform. Okay. Does it make sense? So this is so a basis for this, what you, what's to come. Absolutely. So while SD-WAN is the first product that we deliver, and it actually is the combination of three virtualized services, virtual firewall, virtual router, and then the virtualized VPN, so we virtualize three different things to deliver okay. this product the entire structure of the platform is with an eye or an ear towards the next and the next and the next service. And I'll lay that out for you so you guys can see it. So you have three virtual machines running today, yep. and in the future, whatever next thing that you Precisely. think is the next, you're going to be able to just drop that right yep. in there. And, and I've got I'm, software defined. It's funny, because I hear all the time, exactly. everybody, the term SD-WAN, yep. it started out in SDN, software defined network, right. and, and the virtualization is the key to it. But everybody forgets about that exactly. now, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And actually, your term SDN is perfect for this, okay. because because we didn't build an SD-WAN, SD-WAN only platform. It truly is a software-defined network okay. delivering an SD-WAN service. That's the first part of that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So cool. I think the easiest way is to just, I'm going to go block on you, uh, yeah. block, block diagrams here, and I'm going to draw what we announced last September, and hopefully this comes out so everybody can read it. It's a platform that we called ActiveCore. Okay. Okay, and again, remember, as I break this out, not all, but many, many, many products and services will come through this platform. Okay. And what we talked about was, okay, well, what's the important part of an active core infrastructure? The first instance, certainly, and I'll maybe do this, is our BSS OSS platform. We, have a, we happen to be partnering with Amdocs in this space. Lots of different companies do lots of different things. But underneath Amdocs, it's probably somewhere along about 10 to 12 different platforms and systems that touch not only the virtualized service, but also our underlying transport services. Okay. I know a lot of my partners are going to say, what is Amdocs? Oh, Talk well, about that a little perfect. Bit. So Amdocs is the name of a company okay. that specializes in particular on the BSS, the business uh, services platform, okay. where you basically, this whole block is ordered cash and then service assurance. Can never forget my operations partners. There you go. Always got to have a happy customer. Okay. All right. Now, one component is this, which is large, very, very big. Another aspect, and this is the key decision that we made, and I'm going to delineate with respect to my competition why we think we made a wise choice and why we're not so sure we're seeing it from any others. Underneath this, and you know, this is just figurative, it doesn't come priority one over the other. This is our orchestration layer. Okay. This is critical. If you don't orchestrate, and forgive the sloppy writing, if you don't orchestrate your VNFs smartly, Okay. You will never deliver more than one. Now, in a hardware model, right, and there's lots of players in the hardware space, I'll, I'll try not to say their names, a customer would purchase the piece of hardware, deploy it on their premise, mm -hmm. and then they would deploy their CPE around and they would experience the service, and it's fine. They would operate the service and on you go. Or perhaps you or your partners would man manage it for the customer. There's other quasi-cloud offerings from these types of players. Yep. But the reality is it's a single-threaded SD-WAN solution. Yep. And then they say, well, I'm going to give you firewall, or I'm going to give you advanced firewall, or I'm going to give you wide, uh, uh, WAN acceleration, or I'm going to do the next and the next and the next. 
and it's, op it's almost like open heart surgery in terms of the depth of integration between that hard hardwired platform and whatever that extra thing is. And a lot of times these are two different devices Precisely. that they're, they're, they're delivering and not Pre one unified device. Bingo, right? and yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna hammer that in a second. The next piece that's critical in our architecture is, and again, forgive my poor writing, is a VNF manager. Okay. And what that does is service chaining. So when I draw down here the universal CPE, that's where the virtual services run, okay. all right? Uh, and you'll see the interaction in a second. Um, if you don't service chain well, then the applications are gonna stomp on each other down at the customer's premise and the user experience will be terrible. Okay. All right, so these three components, and then I'm gonna draw in a different color. I'm gonna draw it in Comcast Business Blue. This is something that we made a huge bet on. DX, digital experience. So if you think about how a customer or a managed service provider, however that relationship is, is created on behalf of the customer, everything is about that single pane of glass. Mm -hmm. How do I interact with the product? Well, if I'm gonna interact with multiple products and services, which I'll draw in a second, I can't have one, two, three, four, 12 different screens in order to experience, manage, and interoperate my services. So one portal one. to be able to take care of everything. One. You know, I have a lot of customers, they're doing all sorts of things, right? Yeah. We have retail customers, and digital experience is such a key term. Totally. And it's, it's the key to success, yep. no matter what you do, I, right? I agree. Uh, the end customer, yep. and for you, the end customer is is really the, you know, the the organization that needs to come in here and be able to manage this stuff, That's right. take care of it. Because right. it's not just you who can take care of this box, right? Not at all, right. not at all. I, I okay. should have mentioned that what I'm about to show you where the services are, are completely over the top, okay. and they're completely manageable by whomever. Okay. Comcast will, the way we designed it originally was I will manage the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. You, Mr. Customer, do not need to own anything. Okay. I will place a universal CPE. Our terminology is UCPE. Okay. You may hear terms like virtual CPE. I'll, maybe I'll comment on that in a minute. But we put a physical appliance. It's, a, it's a, almost like a computer, storing compute okay. device on-prem. In fact, I'll draw that, I'll draw that right now That's so good. we have the reference. So this is good old customer location. And I'm just gonna draw a fat, and it's really it's only one RU thick, but I'm gonna draw it fat. Universal CPE. Okay. This is where store and compute occurs. Okay. All right. And I'll explain to you why we do it in this fashion. So this is an over-the-top solution. We can deliver this anywhere in the United States. Any of the products that I talk about can and will be delivered across Keep the United States, there. not within my footprint. All right, which is about 45% of the U.S. We will aggregate uh, broadband and fiber on behalf of the customer. We will manage okay. that. So those aspects of managed. Now, when you say aggregate, mm -hmm. just your stuff, or you no, will no, no, actually no. We'll, bring other and other carriers. We'll bring everybody. Territory. You'll, everybody. you'll actually. Wow. So that's if you powerful. came with a deal that was 60, 60 sites and okay. 35 of them were in our footprint and they were distributed across, I don't know, four different carriers' networks. Maybe there's some cable networks and maybe the more traditional LEC network. We, if that is what the customer wishes, we will manage that. We will aggregate for the customer to get all that. Okay. One throat to choke. All right. However, this, the, the, the active core services sit on top of that. Right. So what that technically means, and while we would love to be the network service provider underneath, yep. technically it means if the customer has an existing network, we'll just overlay right on top of it. That's great. That, that's the flexibility I it wasn't has. expecting to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're here to surprise. Awesome. So what I'm going to do now is, and I'm going to keep coming back to this, and I'm going to draw a word up here. Hopefully it comes out insights. I'm going to come back to insights in just a second. Okay. We have 11 patents filed against us. Okay. So we're actually quite serious about what we're doing on the DX. And like I said, we've submitted 11 so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the power of this platform. So everybody, I believe, has seen our press announcements. Versa. Yeah. Versa is our partner for SD-WAN. Yeah. Versa also has a role with us up here, but I'm not going to get into the details. I need my really hardcore network partners to be able right. to help with that. This is our controller. Okay. All right. So if you just want to talk about different things, this is the controller. This is deployed in our cloud. This is the same cloud that supports Xfinity uh, TV. You know, okay. it's our it's nationwide. 
This is in what we call a high availability. It's in redundant data centers. So if one data center goes down, we have multiple backups. Okay, okay. so very, very, very resilient platform. Single data center, multiple oh, no, data multiple. centers? Oh no, multiple, multiple. How about geographically across uh, the country? Across the US. Yeah. All across? Yeah, east coast, west coast. Do you have a so. count of how many are there? Um, controllers? I actually don't know how many data centers we have. Right now okay. there are four. Okay. Four redundant deployments. Okay. And as we scale, as we scale, common. we can deploy more. You can either okay. scale up in the location or take it to another data center. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This this platform here, um, I'm not again. I'm not going to mention vendor names for Comcast as a carrier of, or a carrier of services. Right. We're, we're a carrier. Yeah. I'm not a box maker. Yep. I didn't. I didn't write Versa. I would never want to do that. Our responsibility for our customers was multi-tenancy. I needed okay. a partner yeah. where I could go one customer, two customer, thousand customers, ten thousand customers to Something any. Something that can truly scale, Bingo. not have to keep on building out, building Bingo. out, building out. Bingo. Yeah. And in our opinion, there were only two vendors. Yeah. And if you buy me a beer sometime, I'll tell you who we the other one was. The, the but we went with Versa, and we think yeah. that was a smart move. Okay. As I indicated, and I won't draw it all up here. This inside of here, we virtualized the router, we virtualized the firewall, we virtualized the VPN capability. Okay. Note, many of our competitors do not offer firewall, stateful firewall, as part of the base package solution. That yep. Right? And that's, and we, we thought there was, here. yeah. We're hearing that is yeah. really, at this point in time, a really, really big thing, right? We're finding more and more people who are dropping on yep. third party components to it. Now you have yeah. one that's really all together. Yeah, right? I dropped my eraser, but what that means is you would need another appliance, another yep. box just for a firewall. Yeah. In software world, why in the world would you do that? That makes no sense, or it doesn't make right. sense to us. Not in a SD. Right. Not in an SD, SD, in an SD world. Scenario, so, right? what else are we, I'm sorry. I gotta pause you. Sure. So, go back to the digital experience. Yep. Managing that, are you actually going through this yeah. DX platform for the management? Yeah, right? so that's an awesome question because it's perfect timing. Because that's in a differentiator. The, in the right? case of SD-WAN, and again, we like to, I don't know how well you know Comcast. I don't know how well the audience knows Comcast business, I should say. Right. We're a fairly humble organization. Um, you may not think that with some of the press that you see, but within Comcast business, we're pretty humble. We don't yeah. think that we're the smartest people in the world, but we think awfully hard. In the case of SD-WAN, when we looked at the portal from Versa, with all due respect to Versa, it kind of looked like the inside of an airplane cockpit. Okay. Yeah. Every bell, I'm an old engineer. Engineers writing user user interfaces for <laughs> other fancy, engineers. Right? It's not pretty. It's not fancy. It's sometimes imposing. Yeah. We've run across multiple customers who have buyer's remorse. Okay. They bought the story of efficiency, low cost. I can drive my cost down. I just go over the public internet, and when they take the joystick to drive, it goes nowhere. And they're like, Oh my gosh, I don't have the right people. Yep. I need more skill. I don't know how to do this, and then all of a sudden they come talking to us or other people well, saying, can you help me. manage this for me? Yep. Not all, yep. there's plenty of customers who can drive it on their own, but the point was, we wanted to make this approachable, and we pulled it in just by pulling every API out of here, and while I won't draw it for you, maybe I'll just draw over here, I'm just gonna draw a simple little thing, network. And network ties to this, Okay. All right. And what we're doing is we're pulling APIs from our network, from all of our BSS, OSS platforms, and in particular from the controllers into the digital experience and presenting that to the customer in the most elegant way we can. Okay. And the way we designed that, guess what we did? We asked customers what they wanted. No, Shocking. why would you do that? Shocking. <laughs> we went to the customer and we literally asked them. We needed an initial point of view. Okay. We needed, like, we, we got to come with something. Yep rapidly, what we're doing up here is what we do in other parts of Comcast. We're very, very agile. We're about, you'll hear me talk later perhaps, we're about to release our next analytics package. It took us two months, spin, 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 go. Spin, 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 go. Okay. Now the trick of that is, you gotta be mindful about how does a customer ingest those advancements. Mm -hmm. But in this case, this is a big enough thing that customers have been pulling for, so we're excited to get it out. <laughs>